What's going on team? It's your boy G, aka Janato Sensei. We back at it again with another episode of Janato Explain, man. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Let's get it. Alright, y'all. So we're on episode two, and man, like this show, I can see I can see the potential now. First, I thought it was gonna be a little bit corny, but you know, with this episode, they established a lot of not necessarily the plot and how the story is gonna go, but you know, we're kind of picking sides at this point. We see the different duos starting to form or already being formed within it with Captain America well the new Captain America his sidekick you know same thing as Cap and the Falcon like you know they trying to bring this duo back you know that's his right hand man and I have no shade towards the new Captain America because because we start off the episode with him getting ready to you know put on the suit and make his first appearance as Captain America he's super nervous and you know he has to have his mans and his lady come and talk him into doing it just because of the pressure that he feels to you know not only just be Captain America be, but be a good one you know live up to the name and that brought some humility to him like you know and it's not just like the first thing you look at him like yo look at the government just doing what it does all the time like me and Wayne rocking with him but you know we still all know who the real cap is you know what I'm saying but with that being said these duos are starting to form with the new Captain America and his sidekick his you know best bud his right hand man really just like my man sam you know what i'm saying like i ain't gonna start rapping i ain't gonna start rapping but start out with this episode with solid bond between friends right and then we have sam and bucky and those two are budding heads as usual you know they were never really the best of friends they just had you know captain america in common their best friends best friend with that being said that really, you know, helps start establishing like the plot and we can see the dualities and what they're going to be showing. But to me, this episode was all about understanding why Sam and Bucky hate each other. And obviously they don't really hate each other, but you know, they just are not the fondest of each other. They know they need each other and they have this unbreakable bond that they both have between Cap. So like there's, there's definitely levels to their relationship, but I could see this, you know, really turning out well, not only because they're going to be competing with each other, you know what I'm saying, to prove themselves right, but also going to be competing with the new duo of the new Captain America and his his best bud there's there's definitely dualities in this episode that i think are gonna help progress this story along a lot better and bucky explains you know well he tries to explain he doesn't really get too deep into it but he explains his frustration with sam because he gave up the shield and what that shield not only meant to him but meant for everybody and he can't understand why sam would do that and you know sam really hasn't explained it either but i think if this show goes where i think it's gonna go where it's all gonna be about identity not only just for our two main characters but also to this new captain america who also has like you know issues with identity but they also started tackling that within you know what I'm saying just different moments in the story such as when they were in Baltimore and they went to go meet Isaiah which is you know another super soldier from back in the day which is crazy but that's a story for another time kid was like oh that's the black falcon and dude was just like now nah, I'm the falcon like you know what I'm saying like why you put black in front of it like and he's like that's just what my dad said you know and it's like so do I call you black kid? Like, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, ah, I got you, I got you. So I can see that, you know, replaying itself as we go along of understanding who you are and just being okay with being yourself. In this episode, there was also moments of bringing us back to reality and bringing us a little bit closer to, you know, what is still going on in America right now, you know? Cause it's like, if you think about it, it's like, why, you know, Captain America gave me the shield, but what is really America? Sam's eyes, you know, we don't, we don't really know that because he hasn't explained that. But if it gets into that, you know what I'm saying? And gets into like, what's it like to really be black in America? That's, that's a whole different, that's, that's a whole different realm that Marvel could tap into. Now, I don't know how deep we're going into it, but, they do it right this could be a really good show because there's been multiple instances you know where we've got glimpses of like what it's like through sam's eyes so moments like whenever he was trying to get alone he couldn't even get alone and he's the falcon he's an avenger these are little things that that happen in real life you know getting stopped by the police for no reason you know and them just being hostile and then him finding out who they were and then he changed his whole attitude it's just like yo 
like really and if they start you know explaining that i think that'll you know be a great message to get across within this story so that's just a bonus for me you know what i'm saying at this point but i don't know man I, I like the way that it's going as far as like you know how the rest of the story is going i'm interested in seeing more about this isaiah character man having a black super soldier back in the day to now like you know what i'm saying that he must have seen some crazy stuff and then also the flag smashers you know getting to see who really is running their operation for some reason for some reason i think i think the leader is going to be related to oh boy from uh the first winter soldier movie or captain the second captain america movie whatever you want to call it i think it's gonna have something to do with him i think they're gonna be related somehow i don't know how but i could see that happening just because like that's how you know some stuff seems to happen like obviously she's not running this joint by herself she definitely has somebody on the inside but she could also be doing it herself who knows bro but that's all i already got for this episode man hope you guys enjoyed the video man if y'all did smash that like button down below for your boy subscribe to the channel for more and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video man y'all know the vibes always keep growing see going to be boy g and bro peace